playstyles for sure. And that was the call that Nairo made there, and it worked out. We're getting into our next set here yeah, between... Yeah, Charlie and Venom. All right, so let's talk about Venom a little bit. Venom's movement with Captain Falcon, in my opinion, is so good. I love watching this guy play. Like, you know, yeah. Captain Falcon's a little, you know, he feels Captain Falcon super underrated by everybody. He, th he he's thinks he's a it. top five character. Yeah. I don't I don't buy it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, asked him, <laughs> I asked him that a couple weeks, or not a couple, like about a month ago, yeah. and he's there. I'll have to re-talk to him about it to see if he feels that way still. And of course, you have oh, Charlie, gone. you know, speaking of optimal movement and situations oh, like that. Oh, he's gone. Oh, <laughs> I, Bounce off the ground. Uh, Charlie just speaking of optimal movement. I mean, Charlie is hit just the optimal moves. It did so much damage and took the stock so Finishing quickly. it off with a wolf flash. That time we will see the ground bounce actually take the KO. We might actually see Charlie take another KO right here. He's already got uh, Venom off the stage. He's consistently recovering high, knowing yeah. he's going to easily get hit by that down smash. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're talking about Venom's movement. And I'm not. I'm not surprised because from what I understand, he's he's like one of the top Project M players. Right. So. Movement is a, is a big thing in that game, right. and it definitely transfers over to this game. Finds the stock right there. Charlie's still with a decent advantage in terms of percent right here. And playing like a true veteran, you know, um, Charlie came out swinging and got the first you know, clean hit, got a, you know, the first nice hit in the match, and then I'm just going right back to work and really making a game of it. It's, it's just unfortunate. Anytime he gets off stage, Captain Falcon just is kind of like a character that was built to be two framed over and over and over again. Yeah. Just how his recovery, yeah, I recovery mean, it, is it's designed. Super free. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with Wolf, you know, all Ooh. the moves hit so far. Ooh. But he's really made a game of it. Oh my God, that was a very optimal Ooh. edge guard by Charlie. He continued as I was talking. And oh my, yeah, the neutral Char air to the Charlie's, back air. Charlie's edge guarding with Wolf in ways that I actually. He makes me feel like he might actually just be the best wolf, you know. Like, there's a lot of talk about Zachary. Oh, oh. speaking of optimal Ooh. edge guards, he oh. went off after him. Venom says, "Oh, by the way, I'm still in this game. Let's yeah. make it, let's make something happen of it." And, and he's not he's not out by a mile, man. He's taking 52 percent right here, stuck at the ledge, but he's still in it. If he can get back onto the stage, that right. is, he doesn't have a jump. Lasers. That should probably oh. do it. Oh, he a little early on the yeah. down smash. Oh, uh, he got away with one right there. Charlie knew it was coming. Just threw it out a little bit early, but Venom's on the t on a t Oh my God, he's feeling Smash 64 combos coming on, and Charlie is red alert. Uh, Venom doing so much work. Oh, I thought he had to read up the up smash. <laughs> All right, Charlie at the ledge here. Oh, he tries to go for an up smash out of shield. They're just dancing around each other with aerials. Venom going off stage. The high recovery from Charlie to get back. And now uh, Charlie's playing a little tentatively, uh, not playing as aggressive at the. Oh, there he goes. Oh, He's off no, stage no, no, now. No. <laughs> yeah, definitely the aggression that was there at the very start of the match is completely gone from Charlie. Yeah, and Venom is just feeling that he's it's so close. He's battled so far, so hard to get to this spot. Gets a down special. Cap the Falcon kicks coming out, and here we go. They're locked in. Who's gonna blink first? There's a forward tilt. That wasn't really a play. That's just kind of not fair. <laughs> Wolves forward to <laughs> well, I mean, reaches so far. I covered. Mean, to, to Where be, do you land? <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, Charlie had that scouted out. Yeah. Right? I mean, he, he he inched forward knowing that like Venom had been consistently trying to land on him with hit boxes, and it happened to be the neutral air just right. completely whiffing in Charlie's face, getting that forward tilt and taking game number one. But uh, dang man, that was a really down to the wire game. <laughs> Venom just kind of, you know, try him at him and thinking he's going to roll Definitely through this one pretty up, easily. Yeah. And Venom's like, oh, I got a, I got a, I got a few tricks up my sleeves. Uh, Project M taught me a thing or two. Let me show you real yeah. quick. And he almost brought that, uh, he brought it back for sure. Almost stole that game overall. Yeah, and, was. you know, the hard part's going to be for Venom. There was like, he was controlling most of the match until he was off stage. And then it was just Captain Falcon being Captain Falcon off stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's going to be, he's got to avoid getting off stage. Easier said than done against Charlie, who is just carrying him across the stage and hitting him off no problem. And Charlie showing a little bit of that same aggression from game one right now, taking an early lead, but nothing significant yet. We've seen uh, Venom is able to turn these stocks right back around and convert in the moment's notice. What will be scary is if Venom's able to battle and take a lead for one. Oh my God, he went for the hard read. Uh, Charlie just going for the uh, normal getup off of the uh, tech. Or the missed tech, I should say. And yeah, he's making really making Charlie work to get back and recover, Who having to that? pull out like all the tricks. I've never seen Wolf flash so much back to stage, pretty much to to stay alive from so far away. Gets the back Ooh. air, 
And here we're, that's what we were talking about. Venom has the lead. Let's see if he's able to capitalize and build on it. Nope, yeah, not so at much. A, at 156, <laughs> man, dash attack. You, you can see Venom was kind of like dash dancing around. Uh, that's that's like where a lot of players will fall. It's like they dash dance and then lose their stock immediately. Yeah. So. A big combo for 46% damage, but uh, it may, might not be enough to hold the lead from the onslaught of you know Charlie's early combos with Wolf. He's already tied it back up. And these two players are so evenly matched. Let's, I'm hoping for a game three already. Let's see what's able to happen. Venom doing so. Oh, no. He thought he had the read on it, but Charlie with a very good landing back here to cover, get out of that situation. All right, Venom tossing Charlie right back off stage. Goes so deep with that neutral air. And Charlie had to delay his recovery so long. It was getting so scary for him, but he managed to make it back. All right. Great interception there on the Raptor boost with the neutral air. Neutral air is putting on so much work in this matchup for Charlie the King. And it's interesting, there's a lot of situations where it just kind of seems like, oh, I was going to say, uh, uh, right, he beat me to the punch of my, it seems like there's these situations where he's just jumping over to get a punish, and he might just go for a Raptor boost uh, yeah. and do it raw, and then he did it right before and, I got it. And <laughs> I mean, the reason why that worked, too, is because we hadn't really even seen any Raptor boost mm. come out, and he nearly got a second one right, right there. I mean, with Charlie at that percentage, by the ledge, really strong kill, uh, kill option for sure. And right now, wolf combos are happening, Ooh. and Charlie's starting to run away with it a little bit. And that's the that's the problem. Like you know, for Venom to get a kill, he's got to get Charlie into a situation. Hey, oh, that. that'll take it. Did you see that hitbox? Yeah. That wasn't even that wasn't even the strong hitbox. It was like above his leg. <laughs> this character's fair. Dude. <laughs> I love this character. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Thank you for the wonderful performance. The honey face uh, sometimes. <laughs>